What's happening, fam? Ow. LAR moving, still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below, as usual. What are black women willing to sacrifice? Um, see, you know, when I listen to some of the sisters talk, the question isn't what they say when I'm listening, is how much skin in the game they're going to put. Like, I'm a, I'm a, let's just get right to it. Here's the thing. Everything that some of these ladies ask for, the way it's coming off is they're asking for it when they're willing to be opportunistically on every side while they're trying to get what they want. Don't work like that. What I mean is, let's just say um, women want the black men to rebuild again well that takes some some cutting back as a, as a collective community so it doesn't look like the women are, are willing to cut back if you want to rebuild you might have to sacrifice your hair or the money you're spending on your hair and clothes and shoes so are you willing to sacrifice that? Hmm. You might ha have to actually make a choice about being with a particular guy to build with and you win some, you lose some. Are you willing to sacrifice not the sacrifice the freedom of not having to jump from guy to guy when it's convenient for you to get ahead are you willing to do that are you willing to depend on black men solely or and not you know get something from black men when you get when you, you want it then get something from non-black men when you want it also but still want things built because there is no loyalty and that you're not gonna, we're not, we can't build anything or rebuild anything for a disloyal group of people who just want everything with no sacrifice involved. That's why a lot of times people don't realize you're not getting anything because every the way it is is you're not willing to do anything, you but you're willing to receive everything. Not gonna work. Um kind of like the marriage thing guys aren't getting married partially because of the rules in, in, in family courts as far as divorce partially because of the debt that people incur partially because nobody wants to intertwine with dysfunctional families and you don't want to be the patriarch of a dysfunctional family that that, that you wind up marrying into when you marry a woman. But the question is this. Bigger than that. You don't want to get married because practically speaking, wives don't sacrifice anything. You're the only one, the husbands are the only ones taking the hits. So like I said before, ain't no skin in the game. What are you actually willing to sacrifice if you was in a position to actually be a wife? What what do you have to lose? Or what are you willing to lose? And usually it's nothing. You know, you want to you want to get paid on the front end and the back end without sacrifice. You know, um, some of y'all talk as if y'all want a damn war for some odd reason. 
I'm like, eh, whatever. I'm not taking you seriously. I ain't listening to you. For this reason, number one. Y'all want all this beef and drama. How many of your, your sons are you willing to send off on the front lines? Your kids. And how many of you are willing to go on the front lines too? What are you willing to, are you willing to get there and, and take the slings and arrows and, and take the shots and watch your kids get shot at and killed? Are you willing to take that sacrifice to get quote unquote what you want? Most of y'all ain't. Y'all want somebody else to take a sacrifice. You know, if, if you had a choice, the way it comes off is you you want your the people you know and the people you don't know to sacrifice their sons, but you keep yours. You don't want the other people to stand on the front lines, but you'll stand in the background. They'll handle it. So because of that, nobody's taking you seriously. Because to want so much and actively practice sacrificing so little is hypocritical, to say the least. Um, the other thing, can I say this? Are you willing to, you don't seem to be willing to sacrifice um, for the greater good of the future generations of women. You're not going to say, okay, well, we as women need to do X, Y, and Z for, to, for the betterment or empowerment of our future women. This ain't got nothing to do with, with black men. So, you don't want to change the things that are under your control as women, what's, what's under your female feminine banner. Because you want it all. There's, no, there's nothing to be passed down to the future females from the, from other women. Not even etiquette, character, traits, uh, feminine skills, you know, um, passed down knowledge. You're not willing, you're not willing to sacrifice uh, your time to be able to build a better woman in the future. So what are you really willing to sacrifice? Uh, and because it looks like that your focus is, is primarily on accumulating the most leisure, then the thing about people who want to be on vacation for a life is nobody knows what they want to be on vacation from. Everybody, they need a break. And Nobody can believe what you need a break from because they don't see you actually making any active moves. Because what I mean by that is for a demographic of people who's quote unquote the most educated, you come off as mentally weak because in some ways. Unless you see yourself portrayed how you, as a certain way on t television, you can't be a certain way in your public life. Like, you, you're not willing to sacrifice <clears throat> stepping away from propaganda. Because narcissism makes you feel good. You're not willing to sacrifice your own ego to get ahead. But in all of the deflection and pointing, projecting what black men need and what black men need to do for you comes with nothing. 
See, there are like at the end of the day, if if you want black men to make all these sacrifices, there is no gold medal at the end of the day if we do it. There is no prize at the end of the day. Because along the process, you still have no skin in the game. You just want to show up when it's all over. So this is why I'm saying what I'm saying. Because during the process, what what actually are you willing to sacrifice during the process? And for the most part, it looks like absolutely nothing. But, you know, let me know. Peace.